Hi everyone, this is Megan with Left and Knots and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the waffle stitch. The waffle stitch is a very simple stitch with a lot of fun texture and it can be used in a lot of home decor pieces um, or wearables and it's a fun stitch to have up your sleeve. So I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. Today I will be working with a regular worsted weight yarn and I'm using a 5mm crochet hook but please do use whatever yarn and hook is required for the pattern that you're going to be making. I will link any of my free patterns that use the waffle stitch in the video description below and those will be free crochet patterns on, available on my blog. To start the waffle stitch you're going to chain stitch a multiple of three. So I'm going to just start with 15 so we can make a small swatch. So there I have 15 chain stitches. And now my first row is just going to be double crochet across all of those chain stitches. So I'm going to start in the third chain stitch from the hook. One, two, three, right there. With double crochet, which is yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm going to do that all the way across. Okay, so I've reached the end of my row. Now I'm going to chain two. And with the way I do the waffle stitch in my patterns, the chain two does not count as a stitch. If you prefer your chain stitches to count as a stitch, that's fine. You'll just have to adjust, to adjust accordingly. But my, it, the way that I do this pattern, these chain stitches do not count as a stitch. So I'm going to double crochet into this first stitch here. And in the next two stitches. Now I'm going to front post double crochet into this next stitch here. A front post double crochet works exactly like a double crochet stitch mechanically. You just insert your hook at a different point. So instead of going right into my stitch, I'm going to go around the post of the stitch, which is right here. And it's a front post double crochet, so I want to yarn over. I'll insert my, insert my hook front to back and go around that post. So the post is what's going to be popping out. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, which is your post. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. So that's all a front post double crochet is. It's a, it's a double crochet, just you stick your hook in a different spot. Now on these next two stitches I'm going to do a regular double crochet. And then I'm going to go into this post again with a front post double crochet. And so no matter how long you're, no matter how many chain stitches you started with, that's the repeat that you're going to be doing across the row. You're going to do two double crochets and then a front post double crochet, two double crochets, front post double crochet across until you reach your last three stitches when you will just double crochet into those stitches. So that was my last 
front post double crochet of this row. Now I've got three stitches left to work into, so those for this row, those will all be just regular double crochet stitches. So that is row number two. The nice thing about the waffle stitch is it is just a two row repeat. So row number two is our first repeat row and then row number three will be our second repeat row. So the further you progress with the pattern, you're just gonna keep going back and forth, row two, row three, row two, row three. You're just going to be repeating those rows over and over again to get your waffle stitch. So there's not too much to remember about it. Now I'm going to chain two, turn my work. For row three, I'm going to start with a regular double crochet in this first stitch. And now I'm going to work a front post double crochet into the next two stitches. This next stitch, which in the previous row is when I did a front post double crochet, I'm just going to do a regular double crochet into this next stitch. And then that's what you're going to repeat across. Two front post double crochet, double crochet, two front post double crochet, double crochet, all the way across. Regular double crochet here and back to the front post double crochets for the next two. Regular double crochet. Next two will be front post double, and then your last stitch of the row will get just that regular double crochet again. So if I flip it over, you can see those post stitches are starting to make the lines of the waffle stitch. And as we progress through a few more rows, you'll see it even better. So I'll walk you through the beginning of one more repeat. So I'll walk you through the beginning of row four and row five, and then I'll show you the finished swatch of the waffle stitch. So to go up to row four, we're going to chain two, and row four is a repeat of row two. So we're going to do three double crochets in the first three stitches. Two. Three. Front post double crochet in this next stitch. And you can really start to see as you work through this pattern where you're going to be doing your post stitches because this will just follow as one long continuous line and then you'll be making these horizontal lines as well. So the next two will be regular double crochet. And another front post double crochet.
So you will continue that um, pattern of stitches across this entire row. So here I am back at the end of row four. I've got two double crochet worked already and I'm just going to do a regular double crochet in that last stitch. So now this is four rows complete. Hold it this way, I suppose. Starting off with row five. Row five is a repeat of row three. You're going to chain two, turn your piece, start with a regular double crochet, and now you're going to do two front post double crochet stitches. one regular double crochet and two more front post double crochet so I'm going to continue two front post double one regular double two front post double, one regular double across this row. And I'll come back and show you how we finish up this row and then what it looks like as you progress through these rows. All right, so I'm back at the end of row five and now I've got one stitch left and remember that that will always be just a regular double crochet. So this is what five rows of the waffle stitch looks like. And you can see pretty obviously that, that start of that waffle pattern, that texture. This swatch that I showed you at the beginning is just one extra row. So this is what six rows looks like. So the more you progress, the more you're just going to see this gridded, I mean, exactly waffle shaped look to your stitches. Again, this stitch works beautifully for home decor pieces, a nice heavy blanket. Um, and I think it would even look beautiful as a scarf or um, another wearable. The reverse side isn't unpleasant, so you don't need to worry about that looking funny. And I think it's just a great all-around stitch to know to have in your bag of tricks. Like I said, I will link any of my free crochet patterns that use the waffle stitch in the video description below. You can find over 100 free crochet patterns on my blog, www.leftandknots.com, along with other video tutorials, both right and left-handed. So if you want to see and keep up with my video tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also make sure that you visit my blog so you can see all of my free crochet patterns. Thank you very much.